All right, here we go. Chapter two of the bathroom. Uh, my good friend Billy came over, and he's done a lot of this kind of stuff. And he got down there in the hole, and we got an eight foot two by eight, pressure treated, and we ran it in, and it's notched, and it meets up on the sill under that end. Now the wood was all dry underneath the tub. And the other end of it is somewhere out here just past in the hallway here. And we jacked, raised it, and added supports that it never had. Now, I could not actually level it because it would have been higher than everything else. If you'll look at, you can see that the bubble in this level, that's the level of the floor all the way to the wall. It's the level of the floor three feet away in that other bedroom. And it's about where we're at here. When we tried to level it more, it started making noises like it was going to crack and break the tile off this wall, and I didn't want that. Then we'd have problems with the door fitting and everything else. So anyway, thanks to Billy coming over and helping me, that made it a much better, easier job. I need to run from this joist to this one and then over to the next one I need to run a couple of pieces that way I need to square the hole up and I'm going back with pressure treated plywood and then it's going to have the thin I call it hardy board or cement board over the top of it and then we'll be going back with a tile a much bigger like an 8 by 8 inch tile laid diagonally like uh, what we used to have in here but uh, with no low depression in the floor and sealing it up and using treated wood, I think that problem is taken care of. Uh, Billy done a lot of work on older houses and he says cutting a joist like that was just not an unusual thing. And that because they used threaded together lead pipe back in the day, unlike PVC now where you can cut it and put it anywhere you want, uh, you had limitations of how far you could screw things together. But in any case, it's all back together now, and other than that, you know, this is the, that was the only bad spot in the house. Uh, just so the rest of you can see that this is not some, you know, rotted tin shack or anything like that. So, anyway, that's it for this installment.